Here he is. This is weird on that. I know. I bought the toaster from you one time. I don't know what it is. You can look at it. You can always use that one too. You got a price on this? All right, so I know it's a little bit hard to see, but the sun does come up here in the next like 30 seconds and, the, and it definitely gets a lot better so you can see. But I find a lot of good stuff in this box. Those right there are a huge bolo, even in used sandals. And I do end up picking those up and I find some really good hats and everything that I pick up, I go over it at the end of the video. Those slides right there, I've never found those before and definitely stay to the end because I do go over how much they're worth and it's very surprising. Now, I've already found some really good hats, so I'm thinking these will also be good. And when I'm looking at cowboy hats, I'm looking at stuff that's made out of leather or made in the United States. All of these were kind of ones that you could pick up at just the regular Walmart or something, so I did leave all those behind. But this yard sale is has just so much good stuff in it. That's a nice dog crate. I'm going to for that. 30 bucks. Dang, that's actually... No, that's a really good price. Did you see a catch? Yeah, I'm going to put that back on there. Yeah. Big basket for ten. Ten. Hey, look, there's more of those shoes, your size. How much are your shoes? $2. $2. You want me to hold some? Um, yeah, don't want that one. They're only two bucks. prices on any of that. But. I did not see the luggages. Some of it's my daughter's. 
I buy these four pair of shoes for eight okay. bucks. How much you got there, Paul? Two dollars, please. Uh, yeah. Three. Robert. I don't. I'm guessing that these are. Yeah. Yeah. I was looking for a binder. That one's actually not written in. Sorry. Shoes. Yeah, it looked over here. You got some pretty good stuff. That's a skull. Now I can see. Yeah, would it be in the last time we had? Yeah. <laughs> I see there's a great fumbling for money here. <laughs> I think we are done. You done? You sure? I hate that you said that. <laughs> we have no idea how much. Yeah, we don't All right. Two bucks for the Yeti. You're good with that? Okay. One dollar. Is that going to be all right? Yeah, I'd probably just carry him. Yeah. He's yeah. breakable. One dollar. Um, so that's three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, what did he say on those? I didn't, I didn't ask. You want to do five? Is that all right? Sure. Ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty-one, twenty-five, thirty-one, twenty-five, twenty-five, thirty-one, 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 twenty-five,
you know, he's an old older Santa Claus. Got a little bit of cracking on him, but I still think I'll be able to get 10 bucks for him. But it's super cool there. He, you swear you put like a candle back there and then you light it and then you see it through there. So kind of like a stained glass type of thing. Then you do have these, the Sperry's. These are like water shoes, uh, enclosed water shoes. These might be kept because I need some for the boat. And these are in really good condition and my size. So and we only picked these up also for $2 at a yard sale. These Sperry's again, uh, boat shoes in really good condition, blue, just need a little cleaning right there. And, uh, but the soles are very good and we'll, we'll get them cleaned up. No problem. And about 15 to 20 bucks on them plus shipping the Margaritaville slides really thought these were going to go for a little bit more money than they do. Uh, j these are in really good condition size 12, but really they're probably only worth about 15 bucks plus shipping. And now this one though, it's so funny, the difference. I mean, these are good, but these right here worth a ton of money. If you ever see that little hook that looks like that, they are worth a lot of money right there. That is the brand O-L-U-K-A-I. I always make it, you know, if I see that, it makes me think of Moana, the, the Disney movie, and that's like the little hook that guy carries. This is what the bottom looks like. And these on the used market, I know a lot of people are like, I can't believe people buy used sandals. On the used market, these things still go for about 35 to 45 dollars so definitely a good pickup there and these bad boys right here are worth some good amount of money too that bull right there is the under armor it is the blood sweat and respect one and these have like michelin tire uh, soles on them. So right there it says Michelin tire and has like a tread on it. That's what brought my attention to it at first And then I saw the bull and I was like definitely gonna buy these when you see that bull comp it out and use it as under armor Because they're worth some money uh, brand new ones go between 65 and a hundred dollars I'm thinking I can get 40 bucks because they're in this good a condition as you can tell very little wear on them This is leather so we'll clean up very easy and the bottoms uh, Literally like nowhere whatsoever just a little dirty clean these up and I'm thinking 40 bucks no problem then a lot of people pass these up but i always sell these they're very easy sales for me this one right here is going to be a yeti obviously 30 ounce rambler uh it's used and they still sell between 15 to 22 dollars i have two of them we paid uh it says three dollars but i think she ended up only charging us two dollars dunkin donuts now everybody usually knows that you know starbucks tumblers and stuff can go for a whole bunch of money don't rule out Dunkin Donuts. I'll throw up the sole comp on this one. Brand new, it sold between $24 and $44. I'm thinking I can get $10 to $15 for it used, but I always make sure they have the tops on them and they seal correctly, which this one does. But I will still also throw up another sole comp of a pink Dunkin Donuts that sold for like 95 bucks. So definitely be comping those out also. Tervis is a good brand, but when it comes to Tervis, uh, I do like Guy Harvey, that's a good fishing brand, is that I want it to have a good design or a patch on the inside. And coming with the handle definitely helps because the handle's worth like three bucks. The top is worth like 50 cents, but this cup should go for about $7 plus shipping. Now we have the hats and the hats are really awesome. Uh, Hook Soul is a fishing company. This hat though, 100% will be mine. Uh, these hats on the new market are 30 bucks easy no problem used market usually about $15 But this one has really never been worn and in the summertime I go through some hats This one just a newer hat just has a cool patch on it So about $10 plus shipping the salty crew hat probably it's a really nice patch hat. It is a snapback and it is in brand new condition. I you know I'll put pre-owned on the listing, but definitely no stains on it or whatsoever. And this one probably about $15, 12 to $15 plus shipping. And then Aftco, one of my favorite brands to wear and buy when I'm fishing is going to be Aftco. And it's the American Fishing Tackle Company. That's what that stands for. And uh, this hat right here, I'm sorry, but I'm probably gonna have to keep this one too. Again, in the summertime, I go through a ton of hats. I'm always out on the water. So this one, but if you were gonna sell it, easy 10 to $15 plus shipping. But new ones, that they sell for like 30, 40 bucks for a hat. So I like picking those up used because they only usually last me one summer. Now this is probably this. Kayla actually found this while we were trying to leave the yard sale. She was like, did you see this? I love selling Harley Davidson stuff. And if you've been watching the channel a while, you know that I always find it in my area. This is just a Harley Davidson uh, trash can. It is, it had trash in it actually when we bought it. So, but I'm telling you these, anything Harley Davidson trash cans, this one, there was a brand new one that went for like $24 and, but they did it on bid. So whenever I see one that has only one bid 
uh, I don't, I make sure I look at the other sold comps because there was another one pre-owned that went for $50. So a new one went for 24 just because they probably went, did it on auction and thought it was going to go higher, but it didn't. And that's really important to know if, when you're doing auctions, list it at the lowest price you're willing to take. And I'm right here, I'm going to say 30 bucks plus shipping on this. There is also one that looks like an oil can that's worth like 300 bucks. So definitely a bolo out on that one. So right there is everything I bought today to be a full-time eBay reseller. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Julian, also known as the Beer Therapy Machine here on YouTube, and I buy stuff and flip it online and make YouTube videos about it. I mostly sell all my stuff on eBay. That's where most of this will be sold. I very rarely sell stuff on Macari or Poshmark anymore, so I'm like almost 100% on eBay or local sales if the items are really big, like golf bags or furniture that I happen to pick up. I do appreciate everybody that watches. At the end of the video, I'll have like a little breakdown on what I think my hourly rate will be. This one right here, there's only two yard sales on that Saturday in my immediate area. This one in particular was only five minutes away from the house, and then the other one was only five minutes away from that. So it was one hour of gathering time, and I put in about an hour of shipping time, and then about four hours of prep time and listing time. I'm pretty quick at listing. I do everything on my phone, and I do batch photographs now, and I use Photo Room to help me clear the backgrounds, and it goes a lot faster now. I want to go ahead and thank Kathy for buying us five coffees. I really appreciate appreciate it. If you don't know what that is, there's a link down below and it's kind of a way you can tip one of your favorite YouTubers. I do appreciate everybody that watches and you know I will always get you on the next one.